Our boy here has been here for about a week. He's been underneath this little clear trash bag. And I want to show you a bit of his progress through the plastic. If they don't fly away, there's a bunch of flies right there. You see the little black speckles? So what they're doing is they're, cr those are newly hatched flies. So those are from the maggots. You can see them drying off their wings. So those are new baby flies. There's some crawling on the inside. I saw a few of them crawling. There's some more of them on that log. They're drying off their wings so that they can fly. Now, there's not a lot of action happening on the feet. I don't think there's enough moisture in here. So, I'm going to have to open this up the next time it rains to get some more moisture in there. Another interesting little thing is down here. If you can see through the bag, we have a spider. Let's see if I can get a good view of him. There he is. That is a small wolf spider. He is in there after the flies. You can see there's a fly right there going over the body. See that bone there is pretty bare. Now that one was pretty clean to begin with, but there is definitely some mummification going on under there. So he is going to have to be soaked down. So that's the week one update on our coyote boy. Week two update. It's raining today, so I decided I'd come and uncover my boy because he's got a lot of mummification. Um, the day before yesterday, I soaked him down with some water and he smelt horrible once he was wet again. Right now I don't smell anything. You can see that is really dried on, and I can't have that, so I'm going to let him out in the rain. We're going to get this decomp off of him, all this dried flesh. There's a little bit of decomp, skin slip, fur loss on his feet now, which is a good start. But he's pretty mummified right now. I should have left them uncovered in the first place. But I thought maybe keep the moisture in. But when it's been so sunny, it's not a really good idea. So I'm gonna it's gonna rain for the next few days, so I'll keep him uncovered during the rainstorm and see what happens. This is the three week update on the coyote. You can see that there's not a lot of change from week two into week three. Nope. The flesh is very, very dried. Very hard on there. We do have a lot more ant action here. I, I see think that. the ants are starting to build a nest underneath. Yep. Yep, they are starting to wear on those feet. Now, the reason why they're coming for those feet and not those feet it's warmer under here because this tarp is over it. Yeah. So I'm just going to put this right back over. And I might cover his other feet up. You might want to cover the whole thing. Maybe the ants will go in and... and well, uh, it's the moisture. Yeah. I, I had covered him before. Okay. And it just acted like a greenhouse. All the moisture was sucked right out. Was it? Yeah. Because the sun would come down. Even though it was a cool day, it would evaporate at the sides tell how much bigger he is than the other one. Oh yeah. Oh twice the size. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to quarter him up. Well, I'll give him another two weeks and then I'm gonna quarter him and put him in the hose buckets. Now this is solid. Yeah, it's gonna have to soak. week five. There's been a little bit of progress here. 
you can see that the ants have been nibbling off those toes quite well. There's a couple of the toe bones there. Something came through here and was digging at the body. And I think that what it was was a bird because there's a lot of pecking and scratching at the cardboard. I think what they were doing is digging for the maggots and the ants because they will often do that because that's one thing that crows and different birds eat is maggots. So they came in for the maggots. Now we do have a lot of mummified flesh on these bones but they are a lot cleaner than they were last week. So what I'm going to do is next time I get some free time I'm going to take the bones and I'm going to put them in pantyhose and then start my defleshing process in the water the water maceration and we'll see how clean we can get this flesh and I think this is really important to do this as soon as possible since the birds are now coming in and taking bones and I don't want to lose anything where I am going to try to do a full articulation. So this is week five. Sorry we missed out on week four, but things were extremely, extremely busy at work and I just had no time to do a week four. Um, I've been so busy at work I haven't been able to do the weekly update of his decomp. But here's our coyote boy. You can see that his legs are missing now. And that's not to worry because they are right in these buckets. I've started the water maceration this evening. Each bucket has a leg and they all have little tags on them explaining where they go. They're all color coded. Now I'm going to need some more pantyhose and a larger bucket to do the rest of, the, of him. But his decomp is coming along well. There's a lot, a lot of mummification here that's going to have to be fixed. Well, not fixed, but you know what I mean. It's I have to take it off, remove it. So the maceration is part of that removal process. So I'll keep you updated on his progress. This is going to be a different video because I'm taking it from his decomp stage to his maceration stage. So stay tuned because all the next videos will be under the water maceration.